Hey, now it's The Rob from 1061 KISS FM, once again reunited with my tag team partner in podcasting. I am back, Eric Cornish here with WKDQ on the set of Livewire. That's right. Apparently, anybody remember that show? <laughs> uh, that was actually cool. Precursor to the internet, kind of. A little, little bit, little yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're back uh, with all the wrestling talk that you can handle. Thank you to uh, Steve for... Filling in, providing some good content uh, uh, while I was on vacation. Were you able to watch while you were out? I, I was. I was able to watch. I was actually in Flair Country. Really? Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, Flair doesn't live there anymore. I guess he lives in Atlanta. But uh, I got there like a day after the biggest wrestling convention, the NWA Big Legends reunion. I got there like a day or two after it was over. So I didn't get to get to experience all that, but it was a good time. Don't know if you heard, but Roddy Piper died. Yeah, crazy. A little bit. Um, so, yeah, lot, lots of things going on. I'll just share real quick. Uh, you know, Piper, I, I, I based a lot of my stuff off Piper. You Piper. know what I mean? When I'm, when I'm in the wrestling business, I, I kind of look to him for somebody who's just a great heel. That You know, the phrase love to hate. I mean, people love yeah. to hate Piper uh, back in the, in the mid-80s. So that's, that's He was a guy who definitely left the industry changed after he was in it, for sure. So we still, uh, we still miss Roddy Piper. I think we have a fun topic today, though. Yeah, uh, I uh, you you mentioned to me this morning something that happened, and I did it. I did see this uh, on uh, in my news feed over the weekend about uh, a show. I guess where was it in Australia? Uh, Seattle, I thought. No, was it Seattle? No. no, no, no. I'm sorry. I don't know where it was. I, I think it was Australia, if I'm not mistaken, but I, I could be wrong. Where um, uh, Roman Reigns got hit with a briefcase, which you never throw anything to the ring, toward the ring. You never interfere. It let the, let the show happen. Uh, you know, be be excited from your seat. But uh, that's a good way to get kicked out of a show. You yeah. think your hard earned money to be at. But uh, it was kind of interesting. There's there's kind of some videos floating around out there. Nothing. I've only seen like aftermath videos. Yeah, it doesn't really show what happened. But I guess. Uh, somebody threw a fake Money in the Bank briefcase. It really just kind of shut down everything. Our good buddy Dan, man, he was on the scene. Dan Engler jumped out of the ring. I saw and he that. Was, he was helping. Uh, he was helping security get folks out of there. So um, it hit him in the head too. Yeah, that's what I heard. So just yeah, not not a good thing to do. And you're lucky that Roman didn't come out and <laughs> completely annihilate you. Samoan uh, wrestlers tend to be some of the <laughs> toughest guys out there. So so uh, I be careful. I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the most memorable fan run-ins or ways that fans have impacted shows over years past. Yeah, and it's uh, certainly, again, it's not something that you want to happen, but there are some that are very memorable. Or funny or uh, whatever. I'll throw out my first, and this was this was a bad one because it, it interrupted such a good match, and the one that always stands out to me is the match on Monday Night Raw Eddie Guerrero versus Rob Van Dam. Memorial um, Day 2002, I think? Uh, you, you knew better than I did. I yeah. remember the event. I didn't remember when it was, but a uh, great ladder match. I mean, one, one of, of my the favorite best. matches of all time. I, and then this bald clown, he looks like, I mean, he, he looks, looks like, like a juggalo. A, yeah, or but like he just looks dumb. And he runs into the ring and makes it way farther than he thought he was going to get. And so, and Eddie Guerrero is at the top of the ladder, I think, or yeah, he was getting ready to retrieve the belt, the Intercontinental Championship, and the guy just pushes the ladder. Well, he starts shaking it, and then he does like a celebration jump. Uh, and and so when I first saw it happen, like I was, I remember thinking, who is this that's doing a run in? <laughs> that's what I was and and honestly, the first person I thought was Hardcore Holly. I don't know why I thought this guy looked like. Hardcore Holly, but I'm going, why is he interfering in this match? And uh, my favorite part about this is, uh, well, one, and the look on Eddie's face, because if Eddie would have completely gotten to him, I mean, this guy Well, Eddie put the toast. boost he to him. He did put the boost to him. Yeah. But he only was able to put the boost to him because Earl Hebner had this guy in a cross face from hell. This was great. <laughs> I mean, Earl Earl just went after this guy. You could it tell this awesome. guy had no plan. He did not plan on making it no. as far as he did. Never thought he'd be able to touch the ladder. No. So he was celebrating. I don't know if we can find a link to that on YouTube or something, but uh, if it's on the network, I, I you know I feel confident saying this was Memorial Day 2002. Yeah, um, if you want to dig that one up, but uh, yeah, it's that was that was not a smart thing to do. Uh, but that's that's the one that stands out to me. Sure. Um, that I remember very vividly. I have a second place if okay. you want. Um, this is one of the most infamous moments in all of wrestling, I, and when this fan run in ran in. I don't know if you realize that he was becoming a part of wrestling history, but when Hulk Hogan turned heel 
and yeah. joined the yeah. and formed the NWO. Uh, there's a fan who also makes it pretty far into the ring. I forget, is it, I, I think Diesel puts the boots to him? I think so, But I yeah. think Randy might be holding him. Maybe, but I, I think Scott got in some boots too, actually. Yeah, I, I forget who all laid into him. But, but here's here's the deal, like, there was something about it, like, think about this. How many times, I mean, obviously after that, it became cool to throw stuff into the ring right. for the first few weeks when the NWO was going on. When did you ever see people throw trash? Yeah. At what was going on until that happened, right? And, and for somebody to get mad enough to run in and 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 stuff to be thrown, that's heat. Right. That is heat we haven't and, seen. But not since. only that, the first one you mentioned, it wasn't because the guy was hot. It was because he was just drunk, drunk. or whatever. Yeah. This guy seemed pissed at Hulk, yeah, as if he had just pissed all over his childhood, yeah. You know, and that was you're right. That was a moment of sheer anger. And, and, when that thing, you know, even, even Okerlund, you know, says in that promo, look at all this crap all over the ring, you know, and Hogan picks up on that and runs with, I mean, that was heat, and that was, uh, I mean, that's strictly what that's about. But like you said, most of the time, it's about being drunk, <laughs> or right. just get, getting a little too excited. I will remember, and, and you will never see this, because I'm sure they cut it out uh, of, the, of the actual broadcast, but I was at a SmackDown taping in Louisville. Uh, this would have been probably 2001, yeah. Around that area. I mean, it was 2001, 2002. It was a two-man power trip was going on about that time with Triple oh, H in Austin. Um, and, and, and you know, here's, like I said, don't ever run in. I mean, it's not, not something you want to do. But if you're going to do it and you're dead set you're going to do it, uh, you know, wait toward the end of the show so you don't miss the show. Don't run in while the pyro for SmackDown yeah. is going off because that's what this guy Is that what he did? Yeah, this, was, this was the funniest I mean, just watching from the vantage point that I had, I was directly across from the stage, and here goes all this pyro going off. And about that time, a guy slides out from the the like the floor seats, gets up onto the ramp, and runs down the ramp with his <laughs> hands up, like as the pyro's going off. Slides, tries to slide the ring, gets barely chest high. Gets pulled out by security and he's gone. So. Pretty sure they cut that one out. Yeah, I, I don't think that one. I have a few more worth mentioning that aren't quite as intense mm -hmm. or whatever, but when you're talking about throwing the trash into the ring, I think every wrestling fan who's ever seen this footage has it etched in their mind when the chairs start raining on oh, Cactus Jack and yeah. Terry Funk. Oh, yeah. I believe the wrestling Public Enemy, and the, but you can't even tell because Public Enemy is just buried under these chairs. Yeah. And I look at that scene, and I, first of all, I always love seeing that. And, like, because no one got hurt. But I yeah. can't imagine if one of those chairs would have nailed one of them in oh, the head that's or scary. something. So you know what I'm talking oh, about, right? absolutely. And then, uh, do you remember King of the Ring 1997? This doesn't really qualify as a run-in, but there was a special Olympian who somehow got over the rail in the Shawn Michaels-Steve Austin match. I do remember match. that, yeah. And he was, like, freaking out, and Shawn kind of had to calm him down. Yeah. And they walked him to the back. I remember that one, too. I remember watching that one live, and like, what the heck just happened? Yeah, I do remember that. That was, yeah, that's that's definitely memorable. I, yeah. I, I mean, there's there's lots of incidents, in, you know, and, and these days they kind of cut away from it. But, I mean, main event at WrestleMania, speaking of Shawn Michaels. Can't remember, uh, I can't forget that. What's Shawn Michaels name? and... Uh, and uh, John Cena, which was what, what was that? Twenty three, two. Uh, no, no twenty three. Three. Um, and and a fan ran in like right as they were doing their entrances, and you know Sean kind of jumps up on, does his like lean on the ropes, and you know, and and so it's like, yeah, you want to etch your place in history. I guess the main well, event of WrestleMania is a place you want to do it. And at one of those in your house is the whole barricade fell over when he was walking to the ring, and like a whole bunch of people. That happened actually at a show that I was at. Me too. Um, in uh, in Louisville, way back in the day, and with Roddy Piper, as a matter of fact, Piper was coming to the ring, and I mean, crowd went crazy, and the whole yeah, the whole barricade just just fell over. Yeah, uh, the Philadelphia, I think it was the Spectrum back in 1999. Um, Triple H was coming to the ring, and that kind of just people just fell over. Yeah. It wasn't like anyone trying to be you know a d bag. It was just the the excitement of the crowd. Yeah. I think it was going to wrestle Steve Austin at the time. <laughs> hey, it's always uh, hazardous territory when it comes to wrestling. So uh, there you go. That's what we've got for you today. Please and, uh, remain seated. Please remain seated for sure. But here's what we got. Uh, here's something else we got for you. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. We are going to give you the chance to win a six-month subscription to the WWE Network. We're going to pay for your wrestling entertainment 
for you. That's right. That? So uh, we're going to start this. We're going to do this all through the month of August, and all you got to do is put in the special keyword for your chance to win. And uh, what do you think we should use for the keyword today? What if we use live wire? Ha! <laughs> that's a good one. Is all, that one word? All one word. Okay. Live wire. One there, word. There you go. Put that in in the box. Uh, again, if you're watching us on one of the websites, the box is down below. If you're watching us on YouTube, uh, the link you will find uh, in the description. So uh, thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Back together.